Hello everyone, this is Sandra from Wollifier.com and WhimsyDreamsClipart.com. In this tutorial, we are going to create a vintage style Christmas card that is folded and in portrait mode. So this is a really fun tutorial for everyone that is new to Canva. If you follow along every step, you will be creating a cute card in no time. So, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I return to you. If you find this tutorial helpful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. And for those of you that are really into Canva, uh, I have this Canva class that is open for enrollment. So, you find all the links below in the description. All the graphics that I will, will be using in this tutorial, you also find in my Whimsy Dreams clip art shop. So you find everything in the description below. So let's get started. Start by going to create a design here up in the right corner and press this. And then you can write card. Folded card here, portrait. And we can skip these pre made templates here because we are going to create our own <laughs> design. And remember, you can always use your designs as templates for future card designs. So Let's go to elements and create the front and the back of the card. Scroll down and find grids. Make sure the pink line is showing here and make it flush with the outer border of the card. Now you can click this and duplicate with this button here and just slide this one over to the front of the card. This is the front of the card and this is the back of the card. Let's make just color so you can see it more easily. This is the front and this is the back back. I'm choosing to create a solid green traditional color for the back. So I go here with this green here. I will drop the hex code for this color in the description. So you can snatch this if you want to. Front of the card will be in a really dark color. So I double click and I go up, up here to this new color wheel. Before we start, remember to lock these layers so they will not move when we start to apply our graphics. Go to the elements here, click on the square grids and create a frame that is a square, not, it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but square. And then we go to our uploads and drag our graphic into this. Like that. Like this. Make sure it is centered. And then we can lock it as well, so it doesn't move when we apply the text to it. Now we click on the text here. And you can choose. And we can use this white Christmas here, which is a free. So that's great and we drop it inside a car design like this and make it smaller and we drag it into place like this and 
I want to change the color to some beige color like this. And we zoom in a little bit here, so like this. This is a te this little text up here. Uh, let me zoom in. Will be too small, so I will remove this little area. Ungroup, remove, and then just write Merry here, Christmas, and make the line height a little bit larger like this and we make this everything centered with this button here Ta -da! You can choose from a, from a variety of text styles here, of course. We can try another one. We can try vintage here and go for a vintage uh, style if we want to, which often looks very great uh, with my graphics. So now we choose the font Cupola, which is a very nice font that goes well uh, with my style of graphics. So this is my favorite from all time. So Cupola. Now it's time to make the final uh, adjustments to this uh, car design before we print it. And we activate the back sides of the cards and we can draw this a little bit in so that it will not be you know a white line here in your print and we want to expand it a little bit like this so we get the print bleed activated like this like this and then we lock them again and let's go to file and show print bleed now you see here is the card this is the card and this is the margin that you will crop off with the help of scissors or any other tool and let's go to download and choose pdf print this will ensure you know clear and crisp prints as this is 300 dpi prints and show crop marks and bleed and download. And this is how your final card will look. So you see here, here are the crop marks. So you can crop off. So the edges, you know, get clear and crisp when you print in a home printer, say. Uh, the printer will not be able to print to the edges. So this is a great tool to use if you want to you know, create beautiful cards. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and that you create wonderful, beautiful, vintage style Christmas card for your friends, loved one or for your Etsy shop. If you like this channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.